Hey guys, I'm here uh, with Anut Jain, who's director of Cisco's Strategic Innovation Group. Um, and I'm curious because we, we're here in Barcelona, at, but it, Barcelona is a great city for, for hosting a Cisco Live conference, but it's a great city for some other reasons as well, and you're certainly no stranger to some of the stuff we've done with Barcelona as an example of what we really want other cities, other communities, um, and even companies really to start thinking a bit differently. And I wonder if you could explain what's the, what is it that Barcelona is doing that others could begin to emulate, or what could we learn from? Yeah, no, so, so that's a very valid point. Barcelona has one of the most advanced vision on the management of a city, and they've had it for a long time, and now we are really working with them to implement that vision. And the vision is really how to have a city with lots of different services interacting between them so that there is a lot of flexibility which is given for the benefits of their citizens. So give me an example to get specific. What kind of services would normally be siloed or a bit more separate and they're, but Barcelona is kind of driving the example of what it means to bring these things together? Yes, so typically uh, in a city you would have um, public lighting, traffic lighting, energy okay. management, all these services would be handled by very different uh, companies. Makes, and yeah. you would not be able to easily have interaction between these services. Okay. And that's what we work very closely with, with, the, with the city, to have a consolidated way to manage all these services. So what is Cisco's role in helping that happen? Because obviously we don't make those technologies, we don't make traffic lights, we don't make uh, a lot of the control systems and stuff in this area. So what role is it that Cisco brings to the table? So we really bring the software layer, which okay. enables the management of all these services. Uh, and this is what we've done uh, within the, the different elements of the city. So within the cabinet, you have compute, you have computing power, right which is running our software. Okay. And the same you find it in the police cars, emergency vehicles. All right, I'm going to dive into the details in just a second, but I wonder if you could just kind of set things up. It says this is a fog node. Yes. Fog node, what, what is a fog node? What does so, that mean? So this is what we have defined as part of uh, an architecture we call fog computing, okay. which is uh, basically finding a way to manage all the things which are connected okay. uh, to the data center in between the data center and the things, there is a, a lot to be done. Okay. And this is what we uh, developed, uh, a fog architecture based on okay. fog computing. And this enables us to be able to manage a lot of different things in a very efficient way. So as I walk through Barcelona, I enjoy the beautiful historical, the stories, the history, the rich, just tapestry of everything that's available here, but you're saying, Underneath all that, because I imagine it's just not that visible, it's one of the most advanced thinking cities and this is the type of thing we want others to be doing? Absolutely, you're okay. right. And, and it is really uh, one of the most advanced and Barcelona is systematically having lots of cities in the world visiting them to see this, uh, basically this vision uh, in it and implement it. Would you mind if I go check out the car and some other things a little bit more detail? My wait pleasure. All right, thank you, we're going to do that now. You. Oh, good, Marcelo. How are you doing, man? I'm fine, thank you. So I was told that you could provide some more kind of a details around some of the stuff we're doing here, because I do want to get into specifics. But So set this up for me. What do we have happening? So what we have done, something that started in Barcelona now became much, much bigger. And the idea is that we have worked on a technology that is able to uh, uh, bring together the fusion of cloud, fog computing, and uh, networking in a way that through orchestration, out automation, all these different devices become basically citizens of the same class. Interesting, okay, so a lot of this stuff, uh, you've got examples here that we've been taking a look at in the booth. A lot of this stuff works together to do different things. Is it possible for us to get just maybe a click deeper, if you will, and kind of see how these things are being demonstrated to customers that are here? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I can show you inside the car because one of the things that we have done that is really, really very uh, innovative is being able to manage the life cycle of nodes in straight cabinets, fixed straight cabinets that could be in a, there or could be in an old whale or could be part of a smart grid infrastructure, but also uh, devices that are mobile and can be uh, integrated with vehicles in emergency fleets or other types of devices. Big, big beauty of all this is that it's based on open standards. We can work with Cisco gear, non-Cisco gear, Cisco software, non-Cisco software, and in a way that for the end user, it's just click, 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 click. Very simple, without understanding anything about what is going behind. So I know you have a lot of nice stuff here, but we don't have time for all of it, and I've yeah. been trying 
like heck to get to the car. Can we do the car? Yeah, can you drive. Okay. All right, go ahead. Okay, what we're seeing here is a brand new car a police car uh, that is going to be used in Barcelona. It's a prototype version. And in the rear part of the car, what we have is uh, the next generation of our fog nodes. Okay. And uh, the interesting part is that before this technology came into place, the, um, every time that they had a problem with the, uh, with the vehicles, they needed to send the vehicles to the garage. It was really a complex problem, several days out of order. And now what we can do is basically by click, 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 deploying new virtual machines, completely virtualized environments there, including automatic license plate recognition. We can do a lot of orchestration and automation around different technologies that are integrated now in those devices in these vehicles. Can you show me what some of that automatic recognition looks like? What are we looking at here? What's on this screen? So on this screen, what we are looking at is um, an officer with the right credentials can actually interact with elements in public spaces and can get control, for instance, in this case of a camera there, and actually do things like rotating the camera, as you can see here. Oh, nice. So imagine that there is a situation where there's a shooting or, or, or something similar, then the officer is not exposed to the problem, can get control of a camera in a strategic point of control and uh, see what's going on in the situation without uh, being at the risk. You mentioned the license plate regulation, uh, recognition. How does that work? Yeah, that we can see it here. So basically that's another application uh, that we can see. Uh, we have brand new generation of cameras here in the vehicle. And what you can see is that uh, the application that is running virtualized in the Fognos powered by Cisco, uh, they are able to recognize the different plates as uh, they, they are being detected. Here and so you can we're see. looking at here and there's a European plate. This, this is a European, European plate because so. it's different from what I'm used to looking at. So as this thing rotates out here, it's recognizing it and we get that verification that ver visually we can see that it matches. Automatically done and all these applications are now, all the life cycle is being managed, secure by Cisco in those devices that are now uh, additional set of devices that can be managed directly from the same infrastructure. So what's the most important thing we need to remember? What is it you'd like people to understand when they, they, they come by this booth area? You guys have gone to a lot of trouble to showcase a lot of different projects at various stages here, but what, what, you, what do we really need to take away from this? So I think the most important part is the way uh, cloud computing, networking, and fog computing are becoming together. Uh, we don't talk anymore about separate uh, management systems for managing fog, for managing the network, for managing data centers. It's all integrated. It could be very simple devices like a Raspberry Pi, our switching and routing gear, or third-party industrial PCs. We don't, it doesn't matter. And at the same time, it's done in a way that is based on open standards in a very, very simple way for the operator. Very cool. Marcelo, thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Thanks. guys. There is a lot of interesting stuff going on in the booth here. I don't know if they'll let you sit in the car and punch buttons like I got to do, but if you can, get by here. These guys go to a lot of trouble to bring all this stuff to us, but showcase and get ideas for what is truly possible. So come check out the innovation area. See ya.